Hey, look, I really appreciate you deciding to recycle me. Hey, we're both doing our part, right? Yeah, right. But once I go from the bin to getting dropped off at the recycling plant, then what happens? Well, first everything has to get filtered and sorted. What do you mean? Think about it like this. Imagine each of these cereals is a different material and it all gets mixed up into one big pile at the plant. Plastic, metal, paper, glass. Not only that, but there's all sorts of stuff that gets mixed in that shouldn't be there. Hmm, like what? All sorts of things like scrap metal, old clothes, plastic bags. You mean they have to separate all of that? Yep. Basically, it goes from one high-tech machine into the next, each playing a very specific role. And by the time it comes out the end, it's all sorted and filtered. High tech, huh? It's pretty amazing. First, this giant claw scoops up handfuls of the material and puts it on a conveyor belt. That's how it gets into the plant. Then it hits the pre-sort station, where the Rumpke team removes any dangerous or non-recyclable materials that don't belong. Next, it goes into the cardboard screener. The big rotating discs carry the cardboard over while the containers fall through to the bottom. Then comes the scalping machine. Mm, scalping? Class, it's not as bad as it sounds. It's all part of the process separating the paper from the containers. And then comes the glass breaker. Are you tracking so far? Yeah, so you're saying with each step, things get more and more separated and sorted. Exactly. The paper screener pulls out the paper. The optical scanner uses infrared light to recognize certain items in milliseconds and then sends a blast of air to launch them onto another conveyor belt. The eddy current repels aluminum cans onto another belt using rare earth magnets and reverse polarity. And there's even one station that uses artificial intelligence to pinpoint and grab specific materials. Oh, you weren't kidding. This is high tech. I told you, but there's one more step and that's the baler. They take all the sorted material and they compact it into these giant cubes and then they wrap it with wire so it doesn't fall apart. Wait, are they going somewhere? Yeah, but not far. 95% of the material Rumkey recycles stays within a 250-mile radius of the recycling facilities. And 80% stays right here in Ohio. Phew, good. I get a little car sick if I don't get the front seat. <laughs> um, one last question. After everything's sorted, how does it become, you know, new again? Hmm. And let me guess, you're particularly interested in the box board, aren't you? Well, you know, <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> Uh, well, how about this? Why don't you help me get this cereal back in the boxes, and then I'll tell you the rest of the story. Deal. 